Now let's turn to a game show host that I was so excited to talk to last time and how he turned into an interview I definitely will never forget. Now, one of these men thought they were slick and pranked me. The other is about to premiere a new game show. Both men join me right now. Welcome Ben Glebe, who's ready for season four of Idiot Test, and Mike Richards, the host of Divided. Mike, you said uh, you're surprised I'm letting Ben back on the show. I am shocked at uh, your br your being very brave right now after what he did to you last time. <laughs> Tina, I love you and I've missed you in this last year. It's it's so good to be with you. But again. life is about choices, Tina, and I'm not sure that this was the right one for you. <laughs> so if you want to just talk to me, I think we would all understand. And and your assistant Ben Glebe, we'll call him your assistant today. <laughs> Uh, or intern. Intern. <laughs> Assistant seems high. It's, listen, it's great being back with you, Gina, and I love it. Well, Ben, last time I had you on, you ate an omelet during my interview with you. We were talking about season two ramping up, and I said I was a huge fan of the show, a huge fan of yours, and I spent about four minutes of our interview sweating through my dress because I couldn't believe it was going so askew. But now I can't believe we're talking about season four. Yeah, we're back for season four. This time we're talking not on April Fool's Day, so I will not be mean to you because that was the point of the joke. It was the four. I'm surprised people didn't realize that it was April 1st. I think a lot of people don't recognize that it's April Fool's Day until well into the day. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it takes you a while to wake up to it, but you were an awesome sport about it. I often retweet that video of us because it was very fun. <laughs> well, and you know, Idiot Test, like I said, we played at home. I think all families should be on board with watching this because we get, like I said, very competitive. But if somebody hasn't checked it out, kind of give me everybody an idea of what they have in store. So I give the contestants live in studio with me these visual brain puzzles, these unique, never before seen brain teasers they have to answer on a huge touch screen. So they're these fun visual puzzles you have to solve kind of like a detective at home. You have 15 to 25 seconds to solve them. You can pause your DVR if you want and solve them, take longer to solve them. Every second the contestants don't answer, they lose money. And if they run out of money or get the test wrong, I then point out holes in their logic by making fun of them and it turns into kind of a roast and kind of a comedy show and uh, it makes you laugh at home while people on stage make no money and regret if they should have ever come on TV in the first place. <laughs> it makes you feel better about yourself when he makes fun of other people. It does, because you're not there with me on stage, so you're like, look how silly they feel. I'm glad I just got it wrong in the privacy of my own home. I exactly, now Mike, what about you? Are, are you going to be making fun of any of your contestants? Because yours is kind of part game show, part like social experiment. Yeah, it is. I only make fun of Ben on our show, mm -hmm. which is a weird, we have a cutout. Wait, what? Which is actually the smarter version. It's, oh. a, it's a really, it's life size. And it's I cardboard just, and, has no, and, and has no brain. And I just turn to it and I go, am I right, Ben? Uh, but it is, it's part, uh, part game show, part social experiment, an enormous amount of uh, compelling television packed into a half hour. Four strangers come on, they have to answer questions as a team. Uh, the longer it takes them to agree on an answer, the less money they get. So you can imagine that that gets very intense. And then if someone was wrong, that gets very intense. Halfway through the show, we eliminate one player, usually the person who is not doing very well at answering the questions. And then the end game, however much money they've earned at that point as a team, and it's usually a lot of money, uh, they have to divide. We divide it into three unequal amounts, a huge amount, a medium amount, and a little teeny tiny amount. And then they have to agree on who gets what. And the longer it takes them to agree, uh, the less money they get. The, the money leaves. It's bananas to watch. Yeah, it really it's a really intense. crazy, intense uh, game show end. Yeah, well, it is. It you is. want them to win, but then you also kind of want to see them argue. So, uh. <laughs> there's, 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 there's a perfect balance of it if they just they disagree. Because everyone thinks they deserve the most. Like right now, Ben thinks he deserves the most pay for this interview. <laughs> and I think we would all agree, Tina, that Are it's, you getting paid it, for this you. interview? You're yes. getting paid? Tina is getting cool. the most amount, I'm I get the medium amount, and you get the you get the least. I'm not you, getting paid. You get and the a, teeny, you didn't even get to eat your omelet. Nope. The the teeny tiny amount. He does have another omelet, Tina. <laughs> he does have another one. <laughs> Just finished it. Just no! Finished it. You finished it already. Gentlemen, I am so happy I got a chance to talk to you guys before each one of these shows comes comes back this week. Mike, good luck. Ben, thank you for being awesome thank this you. interview. <laughs> Tina, you're amazing. You're very welcome. <laughs> you're very brave. <laughs> Get your calendars out. Mark this down right now. Starting this Thursday, January 19th, Divided premieres. And then right after, you can catch the first episode of Season 4 of Idiot Test on GSN. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend. We'll be right back.